Let's go. Hey everybody, Coach Scott here. And today my subject is, who you with? Who you with? And so again, I want to talk to you a little bit about who are your inner circle? Who are the people that you are walking and doing life with? And the Bible says in 1320, Proverbs 1320, walk with the wise and become wise. Uh, for the companion of fools suffers harm. And I think that's an incredible piece of scripture to really sink your teeth into because I heard a pastor once say it this way, when God opens a door for you, make sure you know who walks in with you. Uh, so my subject again this morning is who you with. Who you with. You see, God gave us all the same 24 hours in a day. And it's important how we use our time. It's important how we use our, our testimony and our treasure and our talents uh, and, and especially our time. Uh, and, and I would say it's also very important with who you spend your time with. In fact, my grandfather had a saying, and I've used this many, many times before. Uh, I didn't really understand it when I was younger, but I understand it completely now. But my grandfather would say, when you go to the barn and milk cows, when you leave, the cows don't smell like you. That's right. When you go to the barn to milk cows, when you leave, the cows don't smell like you. In other words, you're going to be a reflection of the people you let into your inner circle. And again, even Jesus taught us this very, very principle in the Bible. If you just look at his life and his ministry, one of the things he did was he fed 5,000 people. You remember the story. Uh, he healed 40. He only taught 12, but he only invited three to the garden with him. So the smaller and smaller his circle got, the closer and closer he became uh, aware of his destiny and what his purpose and calling really was. So again, I want to encourage you to look at that. The higher, higher you go, the more you become self-aware in the things that God has gifted you with, with gifts and talents and how you spend your time. You got to be careful of what your inner circle looks like. And having the wrong inner circle could be the only thing that might be keeping some people from the next level and a new level in their life. And it's important for all of us to prune off some of the relationships that are not adding value to our lives from time to time. It's always important to stop and take an honest assessment of who you're giving your time to, who you're surrounding yourself with. I've heard it said that you'll be, you're most likely going to end up being the five uh, books that you read and the five closest people to you. Uh, and again, I know this is very difficult for some people, and, and I, but it's a necessity. You have to allow people to go. You've got to know who's going in the door with you. And always remember that you, you'll never change what you tolerate. Uh, and the people you allow in your inner circle will rub off on you. They're going to have an impact on you. So if you hang out with people that are negative and, and they're jealous and, and they're critical, uh, they may have self-defeating thoughts and attitudes, then you're going to end up jealous and critical and unhappy. It's just a fact of life. The more and more people that you can get around you and surround you that are going to be encouraging and motivating and, and inspire you to be a better and higher version of yourself, the better opportunity you are to go to the next level of your destiny. So surround yourself with people who are givers and who, who again, support your dreams, support your visions, because those qualities are also going to rub off on you as well. So invest your time wisely and make sure above all else, when you guard your heart, make sure that you know who you're with. And if you'll do that, I believe and declare that you will be all that you were created to be. So God bless you guys. Take care. We'll see you soon.